So Chris Brown's new album for 2017 is called Heartbreak on a Full Moon. The album cover is of a blood moon in the background and a red cover heart in the foreground. Um, it's a pretty interesting title for an album. According to Chris, he was saying that his soul felt this way. Basically, him saving up all these songs for this album because he hasn't released an album in two years. So I guess that's how he was feeling. And so this artwork showcases that. The album was released October 31st and it went gold in just over a week. It's 45 songs long and runs for two hours and 39 minutes. For me personally, 45 songs is a lot for an album. Most artists wouldn't do that. On the other artists, I know that would do something like that would be a little be the bass guy. Um, singles for this album is Privacy, Questions, Party, Pills and Automobiles, High End, and Grass Ain't Greener. Potential singles for me would be This Ain't, Sensei featuring A1, and Yellow Tape. Sleepers would be Lost and Found, Juicy Booty, Tempo, Handle It, Sit, To My Bed, Summer Breeze, No Exit, You Like, Nowhere, Other Ninjas, Paradise, Covered in You, Tell Me What to Do, Bite My Tongue, Ready Whip, and Emotions. Throwaways slash skippables for me would be questions. Even though it's a single, it's a skippable for me. Um, the self-titled track of the album, Heartbreak on the Full Moon, Roses, Confidence, Rock Your Body, Everybody Knows, Hope You Do, Pull Up, Hurt the Same, I Love Her, Tough Love, Even, Frustrated. Frustrated is how I was feeling refueling this album because it was so long. Um, anyways, Enemy and Runaway. It may seem like that's a lot of songs to skip, but you have to remember the length of this album isn't like most other albums. So you're going to have a lot of skipable, skippable um, songs. My personal favorites are Privacy, To My Bed, This Ain't. Sensei featuring A1, High End featuring Future and Young Thug, Tell Me What to Do, Yellow Tape, and Emotions. Sensei is a very up tempo track. It's a, it's a high end. I love that song as well. Um, to My Bed, as you know, that's one of them get you ready for the mood type songs. Yellow Tape is like a introspective of Chris Brown, um, life in prison and people not really communicating with him while he was inside. And then after him getting out, him realizing the lifestyle of the people around him and how a lot of it is a facade. So that's a pretty interesting track. Um, my conclusion for this album me personally, I would split the album into two parts, similar to how the game did with his um, album. Uh, one cover, I would keep the original Red Moon and Heart and put all the up tempo and party tracks on that. And then on another cover, I would do a Blue Moon and a Blue Heart for all the slow and mellow tracks. And this album is pretty much. Um, it has a song for every mood. You have party tracks like Sensei and Party. You have baby making tracks like To My Bed and Ready Whip. And if you know about Ready Whip, you know what that's for. You have Caribbean tracks such as Questions and Rock Your Body. And I noticed that he was um, 
dabbling with a lot of Caribbean tracks on this album because it's more than just questions and um, rock your body. That's Caribbean tracks on here. There's probably um, two or three other ones as well. Uh, for the entire project, um, 30 out of 45, which is a 66%. That may seem like is low, but it's actually not for a project of this size. Um, and comparing my my um, review score to others, it's around the same ballpark. Overall, um, I think it was a pretty solid project. Um, not as good as his last album, uh, Royal TRX but a solid project nonetheless. Um, a lot of dipping and dabbling into different type of um, music um, components like Caribbean, a lot of up-tempo, a lot of slow tracks, a lot of self-reflecting tracks, basically just a, a, a melting pot of how Chris Brown was feeling at the time. Before I end this review, I wanted to go over the album artwork a little bit more. Um, I like how the moon is, uh, the moon's pink color and the heart's red color. They play well off of each other. I wonder, was it a conscious decision to make uh, the moon blood red because you know there Chris Brown has that affiliation with you know the blood gangs or whatever or maybe it was just a way to play off of the heart which is actually red or not but who knows the dripping off the the dripping of the blood off of the heart maybe that's a metaphor for his so um, yearning to release this music and his feelings in the way he felt. Um, yeah, I think the artwork is pretty cool. Chris Brown is not only talented musically, but artistically he is talented as well. I would like to know like the full, full thought process before um, picking this album cover as well. I know he gave a brief overview of him um, choosing this cover art in an interview, but I wanna know if there's any more to it because there's a lot that goes with a blood moon. You know, that a blood moon is seen in the Bible as an omen of in times and whatnot, but who knows? I like the red um, drop shadow over the heart. I think that makes it come alive a bit as if it's radiating energy or in Chris Brown's case, radiating his emotions and the way he feels, which is expressed in the music on this album. And then you have the deep space, which the deep space could be a metaphor or a representation of his mind and his thought process. So there's a lot um, that plays into this cover art. If you like his music, I think you should pick up the album and download it listen to it and see what you think about the album for yourself and maybe some of the tracks that i think are skip aways you might think are good tracks some of the tracks that might be my favorite might be yours or not some of the sleepers could be some of the tracks that you like and some of the potential singles that i think are potential singles could be songs that you like if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.